Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and we're back talking about van security again. And the reason is that we came down here to Sussex Installation to get my own Vivaro secured. And the video has been so popular that we thought we will come back to Sussex Installation. We will follow up this with another van in here. He's got a transit and you're going to talk us through it, Jeff. This Transit Custom, this is, we've just had mega problems with these, with these customs. I mean, I say we, the country, tradesmen, all up and down the country with the, the big Ford Transit, well, the old Transit Mark 7 with those damn lock picking keys, 20 pound off of Amazon, going around unlocking the whole van, turning the alarms off, it's just absolutely nuts. The new Transit Custom and new Transit, the larger Transit, then coming out with a lock not pickable by the same Tibby key, but with people able just to grab grips on the driver's door barrel and unlock the whole thing. It's absolutely crazy. So many tradesmen just, you know, people, they phone up their insurance, the police, oh, did you lock the van? You know, and they, they haven't even really noticed perhaps. They, they've driven to a job and they've come, open up their van, open up their doors, and they've got no tools, you All know? Right. It's literally. So, so there's no sign of, of well, intrusion or anything, it, really? It's a small amount on the driver's door. 2015 came and they'd been unlocking the whole door and then we saw the Euro 6 start to come out, Euro 6 um, Transit Custom, and not only did it unlock the whole load area, and it turned the alarm off as well, you know, the factory fitted alarm. So you got the absolute disbelief that, that this could happen, that someone's got a set of grips on the driver's door barrel here, turned it twice, turned the alarm off, unlocked the whole van, and the thief emptied contents of the van silently. So what a complete nightmare. This is actually not our the standard Ford lock. This is our replacement lock. So oh, okay. this is a rep lock which we fitted, which fits the same hole as what the, the Ford lock came out. And this also has a slip ring. So by them grabbing with the grips on this, you know, this turns independently of yeah, the middle yeah. part. So they're not actually turning the unlock. Yeah. And also it'd be very hard to grip that. It's a big difference from yeah. the Ford one. So what we're doing a lot of these is we're a lot of the time the customers already had the break in. You know, that's the catalyst often is that they had the, bro the van broken into, now they, yeah. they get it fixed, yeah. or their neighbor or their friend, someone in the same building site got, got turned over, yeah. and, and then, um, and then they, they get it fixed. Yeah. Now look, you've also put one of these on that you put on yeah, my, so my what, van, yeah? What we've done with this, we've done different strategies. This is the replacement lock, and this takes a different key. You don't actually use this. This is only in the event that the battery is flat. You know, the remote control doesn't oh, work. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it isn't really used, but it is there as a manual way of getting in the van should they need to and this would unlock but now it only unlocks the front it doesn't unlock the back because oh. in addition to fitting this we've done our electronic modification which is our own research which stops it from unlocking the back stops it from turning off the alarm if the customers had the Ford software update which is now available but they have to check to see if it's been done yeah, yeah. then our electronic modification is not necessary but still changing the lock is essential because if you've got the standard Ford lock someone's going to get a set of grips on it matter of you know probably days or weeks rather than months or years is what we're talking and then again having the extra um, locks like having the dead locks particularly on the load area which is an extra mechanical layer of security so if they do get past the manufacturer's lock then the door only opens a little bit and the deadlock stops it. Oh, okay. Um, what we've also done with this one is this one had a factory alarm system on it, but we've done an upgrade on that factory alarm system. So uh, let me show you what Can we've you done there. Can you just show me this, how this deadlock works here? Because I can't actually see how that's possible to... Yeah, so this this lock, basically, if it's just that extra layer. It stops the door from opening yeah. if, if the manufacturer's lock becomes open. And if I just show ah, you... Ah, set right back. I think yeah. that's what... That's it. Me, so that's see. why it's away from the edge of the door because yeah, yeah. the shape and the frame yeah, of this yeah. door and it goes into the bracket on the inside here. Okay. So that's the extra, I mean this lock, kind of half the purpose with this is really because um, it's nice to have the extra locks in the cab because you do you do leave some things lying around yeah, but yeah. the other reason is that people are nicking these vans as well you know they seem to be quite a, a van where they would actually steal the whole van like People yeah. steal the tools, but they actually steal the whole van a lot. So, yeah, I mean, by having these deadlocks, it doesn't stop them from climbing, smashing a window and climbing in the cab. But then but they're they, locked in. Yeah, they've got to realise if they're in a police chase, they're going to struggle to bail at the traffic lights, you know, with the van still going along. That's a very good um, point. We've also done something in here in terms of the trying to help prevent the vehicle from being stolen, which is we've taken the OBD port, which would have been inside this cover here, 
and rather than it just being here, we've actually put it inside a locked box, which is just in the center of the van there. So the OBD port, that's something that the mechanics use, you know, to reset your service light. Oh, okay. But thieves actually can use it to code their own key into the van. And then before you know it, they're driving off up the road with your, with your van. So by protecting that port, and having the extra deadlocks on the cab, that's some um, protection, you know, for actually the vehicle being stolen in itself. We also fit some immobiliser systems. There's some which we fit which are very clever where you have to tap like a sequence of buttons on the steering wheel before you can actually drive the van away. Otherwise it won't, it won't drive, you know, with no visible signs that it's on there. Oh, but right. that's, that's like perhaps an alternative product yeah, yeah. To, uh, to the OBD port protection. So on the load area, you'll see we've got the deadlocks on here as well. We've got okay. one on this back barn door, which is yeah. in our high position. And we've also got one on the side load door, and this is in our high position as well. So particularly this side load door, trying to give that securing point up high. So if they are gonna try and pull the door down, that we've got an extra securing point up high, because the manufacturer's securing point is down low in the door. So that is our hook type lock. And what that means is basically the hook hooks over into the bracket which we fitted on the van itself. And the aim of that is to reduce spreading. So if someone's trying to go like with a large screwdriver or a crowbar in the side of the door here to force the door past the deadlock, you know, we want the deadlock to stand up to an attack as best as it can. You know, best as it's practical with a deadlock to stand up to an attack. And that's why it's that hook type lock that we've used here on this one. Now if someone was to try and steal this, break into this van, if they were going to try and fold the door down, what we've also done is we've fitted a high position switch here. Oh, so okay. that's, that's an upgrade we've done to the factory alarm system. So if they get the door open, sort of 10 millimeters or so, it will set the factory alarm off and that will give, hopefully, the fees, well, hopefully give the fees an, enough to think about that they can run off rather than carry on bending the door yeah, down. Yeah, sure, because that's the thing, the damage to that yeah, door. Absolutely. Yeah, even if they didn't get in, by that time yeah. you have folded your door down. Yeah. And also it's an early warning that the vehicle owner hopefully can come sure. and attend to his, yeah. to his van. Um, the next thing is this PIR. So similar to what we fit in in your van, same thing actually, but this is connected to the, um, this is actually connected to the factory alarm system. Okay. So again, it will protect. If anyone gets into this van, if they cut a hole through the roof, if they got, cut a hole through the side and they get into this van in any way, this will pick them up. Detection in the cargo area, very, very important. So that's how Sussex Installation is taking care of some of those problems on the transit. But of course there are lots of other vans out there and if you've got a particular van, you've got a security problem, Jeff is the man to talk to at Sussex Installation. Now Jeff, you do a lot of work here on your premises but you also got mobile fitting service. Yeah, you? For, for the vehicle security locks and for a lot of our packages that we have, we do a, a fitting service around the South East, around London and these, these Sussex sort of um, yeah. Surrey um, yeah. counties can well, count. You're, you're in Eastbourne so half your customers are fish aren't they? For customers that are out of our area some customers will find someone else locally sometimes they use what they see from my YouTube content to help yeah. tell their local expert yeah. this is what I want but actually some of them do have a big long trip down here to Eastbourne and, and we book yeah. them in the workshop. Why not? It's a nice place to come for a couple of days. Maybe not with the weather today, <laughs> but typically Eastbourne's a, yeah, a good place. Yeah. Charlotte often books the sunshine in as well, but for some reason really? it, it didn't come in the diary today. And, and what about internet stuff? Do you supply goods to people or not? Yeah, uh, some of this stuff we will do supply only where people can fit it themselves. These are, you know, these are quite difficult to fit. There's some products like the driver's door barrel, which actually aren't that difficult to fit themselves. You know, from a DIY point of view, yeah. definitely order it online if, if it's within your skill set. And I know a lot of the tradesmen can, ha can manage that type of job. Yeah. But some of these things, some tradesmen are up for it and others aren't, you know, and sometimes it's just not worth the bother. Do you know what, I'm drilling holes in buildings all day long, but somehow drilling a hole in my van I'd rather you did it. Yeah, well, it's a shame. You know, when it's metal, you know, you've got to, you need to rust protect it. You know, the danger is that you end up with a van with a whole load of rust all down the back door, and a lot of that can be taken out. You just have to clean everything away. Any cut metal needs to be cleaned. Any little debris that are on the surface, it all needs to come off. Otherwise, you think, yeah, done a great job there, and you look at it and you think, brilliant. Two weeks later, you see it starting to rust. You know, two or three months later, it looks terrible and if you don't clean it off it's going to be you know it's going to be an old banger and, and i happen to know when you did mine you use corrosion protection all all the way around the yeah. inside any as well. any of the cut edges is essential wax oil is the the rust protection inhibitor which we would use and we would apply that to any of the edges which we cut yeah. both here on the outside along on the inside as well and also we just make sure we clean all the debris away from the installation area that's great okay well look, it's great to see you again and if you've got another 
excuse me, that sounds like another van turning up out there, another customer coming. But if anybody's got a question, come to you and hopefully we can come down and see another installation, yeah? Yeah, get in touch via the website, it's www.sussexinstallations.co.uk. Um, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Sussex Installations and let's see if we can help you out. Subscribe to his channel and also subscribe to Skill Builder and we'll keep you up to date on everything that's going on.